Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Mod Showcase. Always great to have you guys back over here as we check out the latest mods that have been uploaded over the past while to the Nexus. As always, I am your host for today, my name is Leaf, but before we get into all this good stuff, just a quick reminder, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of, you know, your game crashing or you not being able to access your map. But all these things are always reversible. Be sure to join the modding server, which I believe should be linked down below. Uh, if you do want to get interested in modding, if you do want to um, kind of ask the opinions of some people who mod, really awesome community, really awesome mods to check out. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to check out today, actually. Almost the whole map is filled for once. And that's probably because I'm doing this kind of, like, bi-weekly now. Uh, just because I want to do videos every other day, and it just fits into the schedule so much better. So without further ado, we're going to get started by a mod by Vince, uh, otherwise known as Incognito. Uh, this is the Orinoco Crocodile. I was able to code this bad boy for him. And it's just a really solid animal. I was super lucky to see these guys over at Miami Zoo. Uh, you'll be hearing a lot about that over the next like <laughs> the next while, really. Uh, but it's a really awesome crocodile. It has a very slender snout up here, and each one of these scoots is hand painted. You could really see that come into play over here. I'm not sure if there's a rhyme or reason to that. I'm certain that uh, Nudo has really centered their talent when it comes to the crocodilians you'll be seeing another one in a little bit but these guys are really cool they have these really awesome tails as well where it kind of just like gets really spiky towards the end i don't know just a really solid animal to begin with a really solid addition by nuto so there we go for all of your south american areas and then we're going to check out an african animal over here Originally made by Mega Game and Rex and Giorno Pizza, this mod was remastered recently by Narwhaler. This is the Banded Mongoose mod. Such a beautiful, beautiful model. Check that out. So the Banded Mongoose is a mongoose, obviously. They're very closely related to the Meerkat, uh, and they're just really exceptional creatures at that. Look at these guys go. They're so adorable. So, of course, these guys are carnivores. They are somewhat related to cats and dogs, but they kind of stemmed off on their own uh, a way, very much a ways back. But still, a really awesome group of animals, just very unique. They are able to burrow. They're able to do all that kind of stuff. They have very unique social structures in the wild as well as in zoos. And it's just super awesome. Whenever a narwhaler gets a mod that has, like, stripes on it, you can always expect it to look fantastic. Check those guys out. It's super awesome. And they're super adorable too, which is great. Check him stand out. Look at that guy. Look at that. Look at that guy go. Super adorable. All right, moving on from here. I don't have anything in that one over here, but I do have some beautiful ones in here. This is the Doll Sheep Remaster. So I have a few different versions in here. This one specifically is a Fanon Sheep. So I believe this is a certain subpopulation, either that or sub subspecies of the doll sheep, uh, which have this kind of very unique coat pattern where it's a little bit darker in the middle. And the same goes for the stone sheep, which should be in here somewhere. I tried to get them for a long time and I was finally able to get one. So I believe this is one. Yes, the stone sheep are related to the doll sheep. They just have a little bit more brownish, brownish texture right over there. Super awesome to see. But nonetheless, this is still a remaster, so there's just very small, small minor details that Narwhaler was able to handle when it came to the actual doll sheep itself. Just very small things that normally you and I wouldn't be able to see, but it results in a much better model quality overall. Recently, YouTuber Rudy Rencamil actually put out a video saying that the only one out there for him is the Lion Remaster, but as we go throughout all of these today, you'll see how many more animals really do require remasters, and even if they don't require it, they really just look exceptional with them. As animal lovers like ourselves, we really do enjoy seeing all these small little details get carried out in every single animal that we play with, even when it comes to a lot more of the smaller stays like the doll sheep itself. So incredible job to Narwhaler on that one as well. Two new variants, super awesome to see. 
Moving on from there, we are taking a little trip down to the Galapagos, where Jen and I present to you the Blue-Footed Booby. Of course, very funny name, but still a really awesome animal. As a migratory bird that is related to gannets, these guys are super iconic, very much well known for their blue feet, as well as their blue bills. Uh, but they have a very interesting coat pattern going on. Really unique kind of uh, feather kind of colors going on throughout here as well. They have a lot of those browns on them, and they have a little bit more of a darker head, which is super awesome to see. Really awesome mod I was able to work on with her, and it's just super awesome that we finally get some more Galapagos animals in Planet Zoo that aren't just Galapagos tortoises. <laughs> but really awesome mod right there. Now moving on from here, we are taking a trip down, well rather up, to the Northern Pacific Ocean as well as the Arctic Ocean. This is the Spotted Seal. This mod, entirely made by me, I'm super excited about that, was commissioned by my good friend Tiger Drake. You guys know, you guys may know him as a staff member over at ZSU. He is just incredible at whatever he does. And he actually commissioned the Spotted Seal from me. So I was super excited to get into this mod. And I think it turned out really, really good. Uh, they have a little bit more of like a dog shaped face. And I'm super proud of the little spots that they have going on throughout there, as well as the shading I was able to do. It was just such an awesome mod to put together that, I don't know, I just really do love making pinnipeds now. And it just came out super awesome. You can check that guy out right down there too. They do have slight sexual dimorphism, so the females are just a little bit more slender than the males. Usually male pinnipeds bulk up during the mating season, uh, but I only made him just a little bit more bulky than before. Uh, but still, very beautiful mod to begin with, and just a very fun animal to be able to make. Uh, my commissions are open, by the way. Definitely do reach out if you do want a mod made. <laughs> um, shameless self-promo. Same with Narwhaler, too, which I believe this one was a commission. Uh, this is the California Quail. This one, originally encoded by Rihanna, but remastered by Narwhaler, is super gorgeous. I'm going to take us into Ansel. And get a little bit closer on here so we could see just all the detail Narwhaler was able to squeeze into here. The California quail, I believe, is a... It's not a passerine, right? I'm not really sure, but it's still a really awesome species from, like, the southwest United States. And it has so many awesome markings going on, specifically with, like, those scales at the front. As well as, like, these feathers around the neck. Just all these beautiful lines and shapes and patterns... Narwhaler was really able to perfect these, and even the little bob on their little thing. Uh, just super awesome and super adorable creature to begin with. Incredible job, Narwhaler. You never cease to blow us away. Uh, females are very unique as well, just very adorable too, which is just really awesome to have. I personally love having a lot more of the smaller species in Planet Zoo too, while I don't really use them too much in my own builds. It's just super awesome just to be able to get that kind of variety in the game to begin with. Now, this one did slip under the radar. This is the Indian Leopard. Uh, this one is remastered on the Amor Leopard rig because it was commissioned, of course. And it looks super awesome and super beautiful on there, too. They had to hand paint the rosettes again uh, to fit a new texture map, but it looks absolutely incredible at that. Uh, they also have the Black Leopard uh, right over here. We'll check that out. And it just looks super beautiful to begin with. It's just a really awesome species. Or is it subspecies? I really don't know anymore. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure Havoc will be able to let me know. This is, of course, made by Havoc, Havoc and Gaboy. I think Jorno might be in there too. I could be wrong. But it's just a really awesome animal to begin with. And I think... Possibly I did the Zoopedia for it. Yeah, I think that's my Zoopedia picture too. So, just a little shout out to Leaf right there. So that is looking pretty swanky over there, and we go here to visit our good friend Dr. Hyena, as he graces us with another hyena. This is the Spotted Hyena Remaster. Again, small edits from the original model, um, just to help make it a little bit more realistic. It looks really good. Um, I, again, I'm not the biggest expert when it comes to animals, but I do trust our wonderful modding community to really deliver us what an accurate animal would look like. The Planet Zoo team does some incredible work with their animals, but let's be honest, some of the base game animals do lack that little bit of extra, you know, zang to them. But modders step in and they really take an animal 
and really bring it to the fullest fruition that it could be. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying in that. Uh, they also have a lot of color variations too. We could see that we have a much kind of like desaturated version right over here. And we have some more saturated versions right over there. Excuse me for one second while I just grab a sip of water. Perfect. All right. And did you know, fun fact, hyenas actually drink water. That is so cool. <laughs> um, let's move on from there. I believe we're going to stop over here at Australia as we check out the Dingo Remaster. Again, this is one of the reasons why I love Remaster so much. All these new variants. Uh, the Dingo in particular is an animal that is not represented by just one single coat. If we could get kind of like the base game Dingo right over here, we could honestly take a look at him and say, yeah, that's pretty good. It looks good. Looks like a dingo. But dingoes have so much more variety in the wild. Um, seeing this over here, since they are wild feral dogs, um, we could see that they actually have so many different color variations. In particular, one of my favorites should be around here. It's actually this one. I'm not sure what kind of animal, well, what kind of dog breed it's supposed to be. But it's just a really, really awesome, unique coat variation to get for these guys. Makes me super happy to be able to get, like, all these different colors for this very, very awesome species. So, moving on from there, I know it's very crazy. We haven't had to showcase this long in quite some time. We have the Western Chimpanzee Remastered. This is one that so many people are so excited for, and you could just see why. The Western Chimpanzee is an animal that really didn't really have the best of um, appeal. I have an early working version of it because I forgot to install the uh, UI for it. Trust me, it's going to look good. But the Western Chimpanzee had a lot wrong with it. Um, it just didn't look like an accurate chimpanzee that you would see in a zoo. Uh, but Gaboy really, really stepped it up and gave us so many different versions. Check out this fella over here especially with like the white around the chin and all the beautiful black fur around the body it just turned out super awesome uh, a lot of these may have black faces as you would see in typical chimpanzees around the world especially in the wild um, different subpopulations and subspecies of chimpanzees have different facial colors and this one in particular is super awesome just to see you see this a lot more as they age out uh, a lot of the times when the babies start, they oftentimes don't really have black faces, but it's a very interesting trait unique to both bonobos and chimpanzees, as when they grow up, they would kind of get a lot more darker faces. It's just super awesome to see that all come into play. But yes, very beautiful nonetheless, and it's just super awesome just to see such a really, really unique species get all this love and attention from Gaboy. Incredible work, definitely my favorite from this week. We also have the Tundra Wolf Remaster. Again, just some very slight changes to help make this mod look even better. Uh, just some slight coat changes, I believe, from the last time. They were able to add, I think, one new one. So we have a little bit more of a cream color right over here, which is very beautiful, but I love this darker gray color, especially with like that black along the nose. I find that so cool. Uh, if I could actually check out this guy. I'm not sure where that black on the nose comes from. But it's just really, really awesome. It really makes me want to build for these guys now, just because of how gorgeous they are. Sorry about that. I had to... Oh, no. <coughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I totally forgot to mute for that. So that's awesome. We'll we'll keep that going. Um... <coughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I'll be sure to lower the volume on that. But listen... I know there's probably demand for Leaf sneezing out there live on video, so we'll keep that in. We'll just let that roll, Johnny. Uh, moving on to the Himalayan Brown Bear Remaster. Again, this one isn't much different, but it did get a new coat variant as well. Uh, just a very, very brief one, if I could find it. Where is it? Hello? Um, so yeah, let's go over here to Himalayan Brown Bear. And we can actually check these guys out if I clear out that one. We do have a much darker version. This one is the kind of like chocolate version of the Himalayan brown bear. Uh, just really beautiful and really dark. Super awesome to get that. 
with a little bit more lighter fur going around like the chest and like neck area. It just looks super awesome and super clean to begin with. It's really gorgeous. Check that guy out. Hold on. Let me move him to some better light so you guys can actually see him. But yeah, check that out. I just love how well the bears kind of like glow in the sun. It just looks super awesome to begin with. Really, really awesome. Check him out. Oh, he's so handsome. All right, we got one more, and then I'm going to go blow my nose because I got boogies all over the place. But we do have the Thomas Stoma by Vince once again. Incognito, always delivering the most spectacular reptile mods. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the, like, the bright orange on the Thomas Stoma. I feel like Vince... Uh, if you do want, like, a little piece of advice, if you are able to edit the FGM so that we get a little bit of color variation so we can get some, like, desaturated individuals, I feel like that would be very beneficial. But it's just a really solid animal to begin with. False gharials, otherwise known as Thomas Domas, are really not so common in zoos, but they are found a lot. And they're just super awesome creatures to begin with. I don't know. I just really like them. So, incredible job as always, Incognito, always delivering the best. Uh, but that is it for the showcase today, my friends. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much, and be sure to let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Of course, I have to say that mine is the Western Chimpanzee Remaster. Absolutely incredible one to begin with. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are always the best. Can't wait to see you all in the next episode. And have the most wonderful of wonderful days. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.